kind of break down what you saw out of Luton, uh, especially that uh, two-minute drive there at the end, and you know whether you think that that warrants him a, a longer look. Well, we'll take one one thing at a time. I think that you know I was impressed with a lot of things. You know, just the plays in and out, no delay games. Um, you know, I thought he made some really nice throws. I thought there's some that obviously you're gonna want to have back. I think you know when you're first time starting and you know you're down by a score and a two point conversion and lead your team down the field uh, to you know potentially you know tie the game with a two point conversion. I think you know that that's a, that's another check mark. So you know there's a lot of check marks and everyone's gonna ask me. Uh, I got asked on the radio show which I do prior to this and you know uh, Gardner right now is not throwing. So I, I, there's no decision really to make right now. So I'm not I'm not you know I, I'm not really looking at the future because um, you know I'm. I'm it's going to take me a while to get over this one. I'm kind of pissed. Thanks, D-Rock. We'll go to Gary Smith, and then we'll go over to Hayes. Yeah, Doug, can you clarify whether Josh Lambeau got hurt in the onside kick? Yeah, he did. Uh, is it the same hip, or do you know anything more about it? Uh, it sounds like the same area that was before, so I don't know any, I don't know any more about that. Okay. I, I usually – what I do is I do these – just so you guys know. I mean, it's not like I'm hiding. I – by the time I do the radio and I come here and do this, when I get back, the doctors get through it, everyone, and then I meet with them. And that's when I have a, a better idea of what, what it is. But it didn't look good. Okay, thanks, Coach. You're welcome. Thank you, Gary. We'll go to Hayes, and then we'll go over to Mark Long. Doug, what was the explanation that the officials gave you on the look like a delay a game on the touchdown to Fuller? Yeah, they um, – no, not none. I mean, they didn't see it. There's only one person responsible for it. You know, that's that's what he, you know, the back judge is responsible for the play clock. The other the other officials don't look at it. It's only one person. Is that why you're kind of pissed? Well, I'm not going to do anything. I think that, you know, I'm not going to say anything stupid. So I think you guys realize it. Cool. Thanks. Yeah, no problem, Hayes. Thank you, Hayes. We'll go to Mark Long and then we'll go to Jamal. The, the, the big plays aside, the 70 70- whatever 75 yarder 77 yarder and the 57 yarder team played pretty well on both sides of the ball i mean you know is that uh is that at least the positive is you feel like maybe you're turning a quarter corner in terms of being competitive and whatnot i mean you know these guys have played hard mark i mean you got and i know i know a lot of times in this that's what the coaches all say but i think it's you know you guys are good enough smart enough to know you know, if they weren't, you'd, you'd call me out on it. You know what I'm saying? Or call them out. And they are. And, you know, I hope that you can see that, you know, we're trying a lot of different things. I mean, we tried a lot of different things, different packages today. I think we were able to see that. We were able to get, you know, and some of those packages helped us getting pressure on the quarterback, you know. And, you know, at times we had really good calls and and, and credit to Deshaun Watson. He got out of it and, and made some plays. Um, so, you know, those things. And then, you know, LaVisca got injured early in the game. <laughs> Uh, he has a hamstring and that, you know, we had a lot of things planned, you know, for him, you know, to do things with, but, you know, I, I thought we did a decent job. I think the thing that, you know, you get disappointed with uh, all of us, and I'm not just saying it's me is, you know, 10 points in the first quarter, you know, Joe's drives were penalties. Um, you know, I thought the other one was uh, a non-catchable ball, but, you know, it was deemed catchable. So uh, it's the pass interference on that. I thought that, I thought, you know, uh, Clay Brooks made the big return. We were able to get points right before the half. You know, Jake at least made the play to put us there. So really, you think about two minutes before the half, two minutes, you know, at the end of the game, you know, the guy made two plays there. Uh, then I thought, you know, the swing on uh, on uh, the potential delay of game, you know, was, was a big because now it goes to third and really long, you know, and instead it's at seven points the other way. So um, those are the things that happen. And, and like I said, you know, you tested. I, I feel like I'm, you know, tested um, because, you know, you don't expect those those type of things. Um, but you know, and, I, and it's hard, you know, you talk to a football team afterwards, you know, what, what do you say? You know, um, you know, I talked to them and, you know, I just, I just got to figure it out a way and we just got to keep going. But, um, you know, we got eight games left and, um, you know, there are some things obviously Mark, that, you know, there were some things that went well and there's some things that we need to clear up. We just, um, um, you know, we're just going to keep going, keep going forward. Thank you, Mark. We'll go to Jamal and then Mio O'Brien. Hey, Coach. It looked like you changed up some things on your defense this week, getting guys like Daniel Thomas and Doug Costin a little bit more work out there. What would you think about their performance today? 
Yeah, you know, I thought we we, we put Doug out there because his his production has been high and had a lo- little bit of amount of snaps. You know what I'm saying going in, but the production was high, so we wanted to see if we increase the snaps where his production level is. I thought he did a couple of good things in there. I don't know the exact counts, and I think he did a nice job. I, I mean, I'd have to go and really watch it because it's an interior play. Um, so I'm looking at the total concept of it, but you know, he was a guy that we felt, you know, pretty good about. Think about it. He was a a free agent and we put him on the roster at 53 at the, um, you know, start of the season. So we did that. And then, you know, basically we were trying to play, um, you know, both Josh and Daniel down today, you know what I'm saying? More, more heavy as in down in the box. So we felt like, you know, Hey, you know, Josh has played well, you know, so I brought Josh in. Josh has done a nice job. He's made made a lot of plays for us, you know, but Daniel is also a guy that's a playmaker, and we just have two guys that really one position. So I just wanted to make sure we got Daniel in there, and I thought that playing Daniel every couple of series would make, you know, my thought process was to get better production out of that. Thanks, Coach. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Jamal. We'll go to Mio, Brian, and then Gene. Hey, Doug, obviously pretty infamously, you said you wanted to do some crazy stuff this week. I'm just curious your assessment. Obviously, it's still pretty fresh. Do you think you were able to accomplish that today? And where do you still have to improve in that category? The category of crazy. Yes. Yeah, I, I think I think we did some different things. I mean, I think they helped us. So, you know, I think we'll take a good look and whether we expand on it. Um, I think it's a little bit di- more difficult to, you know, do that stuff on offense. You know, we got a young quarterback. We want to make sure we train him properly and get him, you know, off to a good start. Um, so I think, you know, a lot of those things go in play. I think, you know, we had some stuff, but, you know, I think uh, when LaVisca went down early on, like I said earlier, um, you know, we had some things with him, but, you know, that that got nixed. So, um, I, you know, at the end of the day, we just judge. We, we got to win. I mean, we got to figure out, you know, how we can keep this thing going and keep these guys playing and, you know, put them in position where, you know, they can make some plays and we can get a win. Just quick follow up. Would you qualify giving cost and giving Daniel more snaps? Was that part of the crazy stuff category? No, I think that stuff, you know, after I said it, you know, when, when I said that, I, I knew I was in trouble. You know, I knew that I was going to get a lot of these types of questions later on. And that's why early in the week I tried to say, listen, I know what I said, but hey, listen, you know, Mark, I believe, was the one that asked it. I'm like, oh, he's going to, you know, here we go. And this is going to be a big thing. We're going to be judged on it. And then, you know, then obviously Gardner had the injury and Jake came in. So um, that's just, it's just a poor public relations, poor communication on my part you know i apologize for that all good doug yeah thank thank you mia thank you mia we have time for two more so we'll wrap with gene Fournette and then john shipley uh hey doug could you uh expound a little bit more as far as jake goes the poise that he showed there there was a few throws where it looked like you know he he moved in the pocket pretty well and was able to get off some passes obviously there were some plays that weren't so good but overall could you just talk about his poise that he showed for being uh, yeah, I think you, NFL. sure. Yeah, I, I think I think you're going to have that. I think, um, you know, what I'm saying, Gene, you're going to have some of those plays that that aren't going to look good, you know, and, um, you know, but there's some of them that that are really impressive. And I, and I go back to I think. What I try to do is or what how I'm going to try to explain this is try to give you, you know, just the mindset of uh, or the. You know, you guys can see body language and you can see them on the field, right? So there's not an issue with that. So for me, um, all those other things that I talked about, you know, the first time he gets hit or the first time, you know, all this pressure comes or, you know, someone winds up coming free, which happened early in the game and you see him rolling to the right and you see. Uh, so one of the things I was impressed with is it was his eyes down the field. You know, he missed he missed Cole on that one play down the field. That could have been a big play. Um, so when under duress, you see him still working to, to push the football, you know what I'm saying, down the field. And then, you know, at the end of the game, you saw him, you know, have the ability to take off and go. So I think those things go to, you know, um, one of the things that you look for, checking the boxes. I thought, you know, communication-wise, just his, his um, you know, getting in and out, not getting delayed games, you know, a lot of that stuff happens early, you know what I'm saying, in someone's career. You know, you can have that, um, you know, those situations. So being able to... Uh, spit the plays out, get everybody lined up, and then really, the, you know, the two two-minute drives, uh, especially the one at the end. You know, here's a guy that that has you know zero work. We tried to get some extra work in with him on two minute at the end of the you know at the end of the day, and um, 
you know, I thought he really handled himself well throughout the, the four quarters. So, you know, there's a lot of things that you can check, you know what I'm saying? Hey, good here, good here, good here. Um, you know, communication on the sideline, what he's seeing, what's going on. Um, you know, there's a lot of that. And I'm sure that he wants some throws back, but some of those throws, um, like you guys, you know, um, were able to see. I mean, some of them, you know, the one Eifert was, uh, was, was a heck of a throw, and obviously there was a couple more. Uh, as a follow-up, could you just – did you ever envision that, that he would be able to contribute uh, the kind of uh, touchdown scramble run from 13 yards out like he did, he, eluding one defender and spinning away from another? Well, I think I think uh, on, on radio I got asked, and someone said Jay said he wasn't that athletic, but he looked athletic on that play. You know, I think when I watched him in college, you know, he was athletic enough. Um, you know, he had pretty good pocket poise, you know, in there, keeping his eyes down the field, which I think is important. You know, I think that run, you know, showed that he can move. You know, he looked like he had pretty decent pocket presence as far as left, right, stepping up, you know, all those things. So, um, you know, I would I would say, you know, on that play, I mean, he made a spin move and scored. So, I mean, it's hard to say that he, he's not athletic, you know, being able to do that. Um, you know, ball security, the one, you know, hey, he was about ready to throw it. He was going to rip it, and the guy knocked it out of his hands. Um, I don't really, you know, those things occur. Um so there's a lot of there's a lot of things that I would say, um, you know, is, is is impressive when you think about no off season, you know, what I'm saying just training camp, not receiving, you know, any reps and then, you know, getting thrown in there. So there's a lot of ways to write that story about the kid. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Gene. We'll wrap with John Shipman. Hey, uh, Coach, just what is your message to the team after a tough and close loss like this that I'm sure can be frustrating? Yeah, I think, you know, it's the same thing. I mean, I understand. I told the players, you know, I understand there's no moral victories and, you know, hey, listen, we're pros and, you know, everybody's fighting hard and we understand that and you don't need to go, you don't need to go there. And, um, you know, I just told them, I said, we're going to, we're going to keep doing what we're doing. Uh, meaning, you know, hanging in there, playing our asses off, you know, playing hard, you know, finding ways that we can get better and improve as the year goes on. Um, and, I, and I just told them, I said, you know, sometimes, you know, Fortunately or unfortunately, you know, I've been through stuff like this, you know, before. Um, and I think it, 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 it says a lot. And I told him, I said, you know, you know, we may think how hard it is, you know, because we're, you know, in the NFL and we're playing and we're trying to get it. But, you know, I try to, you know, put it beyond it. I mean, there's going to be a lot of things, a lot of adversity, you know, that we're dealing with our lives. And everything that we're going through right now is going to be part of that, um, you know, part of that foundation that's going to be able to, to make us better. And at the end of the day, uh, whatever happens at the end of it, you know, we'll be better coaches and better players for it. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. Thank you so much. We good? Yep, we're all good. All right. 